Peugeot 2006 1.4 HDI I'm going to get set up inside and uh, diagnose an airbag fault on this one So we're set up in the car now, <clears throat> got the key in the ignition, I'm going to turn it on, show the airbag light on here and the fault show up on there. Ignition on. There we go. Airbag slash seatbelt faulty. <clears throat> And I'll start it up to show the uh, the airbag light stays on as well. Yep. So I've got my computer plugged in, <coughs> and I've got it ready uh, to do the uh, the scan. 207 on a 2006 we'll do all systems on this it is a diesel 1.4 HDI that, ok and I want to turn the engine off <coughs> ignition on click ok and let it do its thing. <clears throat> Restraints now. SRS, Supplementary Restraint System and we've got a fault in there as we knew we would have So for now, I'm going to leave the um, the those fault codes. We're not interested in those for for the minute. And we'll look at this. So the airbag, as we know, there's an issue with it, and it says right front side airbag. It's an open circuit, and it's permanent. Now. Um, that's not a massive amount of information that <clears throat> I was hoping for a bit more than that this car's got um, airbags in the seats the, the, the steering wheel, the dash um, of course the pre-tensioner would come up in SRS as well if there was a fault with that so that's not a lot of information to go on that 6 or 8 fault code there but I have noticed something else now. So the uh, I think the the computer here has outlived its usefulness. I'm going to put it to the side and I'm going to show you what else I've noticed. So when I started the car, that seatbelt sign on the right. It's for the driver's seat and it's green. It's saying the seat belt is uh, clipped in that. So what I'll do is, I'm gonna start the car again. And the one on the left there is for the passenger seat. So I'm gonna clip the passenger seat in, the seat belt in. Um, Actually, no, that's not going to work. It's green because of the occupancy sensor in it. So what I'll do is I'll sit in the passenger seat now. I'm sat in the driver's seat now, and it's saying on the right here, it's saying my seatbelt's on, and it's not. 
Um, so but before I move over, I'll put the put the the driver's side seat belt in. Let's see if oh, it's, it's gone all together now. <laughs> Not sure why it's disappeared. Definitely something going on there. Right. So yeah, they're the back, and it's saying the right one is the driver's side. So I'm going to click my driver's side in. See if anything changes, and nothing's changed. So I'm not sure whether that's the occupancy sensor or the seat belt, um, the actual buckle clip. Either way, it shouldn't be shouldn't be green on the right side. It should be green on the left side because of the occupancy occupancy sensor. And there's no one sat in it. So, what I'll do is, I'll sit in the passenger seat and see if it changes to red. Yeah, that's me sat in the passenger seat now, and as you can see, the occupancy sensor knows I'm sat in the passenger seat and it's turned red. So I'll clip the seat belt in, and it should go green again. And there it is. So, with the fault code we had, for the drive, for the front right it was saying, like I say, I was hoping for a bit more, um, I've just unclipped my seat belt there, and I'm going to move back into the drivers. I was hoping for a bit more... Uh, information on that one although using as using as eyes I think we're uh, we're going along the right lines here so I'm gonna get set up and have a look at the wiring underneath the driver's seat now so we'll stop the video and I'll uh, I'll set it up so I've got the seat moved forward now and with a light here as well I have to excuse the mess in this car, it is disgusting. So, we're going to have a look at the wiring underneath here. And, I think we can see the problem here already. This has been chewed. It's uh, not in a very good uh, state of repair. That it was blatantly obvious that once we looked under the seat. So, what will we do now? What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to disconnect the battery and I'm going to leave it for 10 minutes before we start pulling that apart and messing with it. The rest of it looks okay, I mean that, that's standing out. It's definitely been chewed that. So before I mess with that I'm going to disconnect the battery and leave it for 10 minutes. Um, <clears throat> yeah. right, battery's been disconnected about 10, 15 minutes, probably 15 minutes and uh, I feel uh, comfortable now messing with these yeah there's broken wires in there let's see if we can get a bit better Something's been chewing that. So I'll disconnect that and we'll uh, Oh. It's 
fan as well. I think the best plan of action for this is uh, remove the seat. So that's what I'm going to do now. There we go, seat removed now. We've got this offending area here. I mean, well chewed this, huh? I don't really know what's happened with that. An animal that's chewed it, or if it's got caught in something. One of the runners, no, I don't think it could have reached the runners, but anyway, I'm gonna peel this back. Right, so I've cut these, uh, cut the ends off, get some nice uh, clean wire. Some fresh wire to solder with. So. I have to go and find me helping hands as well. shrink even Don't tell me the battery's flat. No, nope, it's just clicked off. Where is it? There. <coughs> I think it clicked itself off. I'm sure I left that on. Anyway. Yeah, I 
That's a good joint. That's a good joint. So and I'll shrink that wrap shrink that shrink wrap that now. <clears throat> in it. Nice. Looks a bit unsightly at mm. the bottom there. I think we're going to have a touch more on it. So before I do end the video, I will scan it for codes again. Um, ignition on. There we go. We know it's right because that airbag light's come up going out, and the uh, the only one warning on there is for risk of ice. Right. So let's scan it again. To save time here, I'll just go into the SRS restraints, airbag diagnose. There we go. And we'll read the fault codes, and we've got no fault codes there. Excellent. So it is a fix. Another one done.